Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. We're excited to have you here with us today as we explore amazing large-scale lionhead goose farming in China. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Lionhead geese are a highly regarded breed in China due to their large size and high quality meat. They are primarily raised in the Guangdong region of the country, where there are many farms dedicated to their breeding. Lionhead goose farms in China are typically located in rural areas with access to large bodies of water, as geese require ample space to swim and forage. These farms are often run by families and tend to be small and traditional in nature. The geese are raised for their meat, which is considered a delicacy in Chinese cuisine. The birds are fed a diet of grain and vegetables to ensure they grow quickly and develop a tender texture. Once mature, the geese are sold to markets or restaurants, where they are typically roasted and served with various sauces and sides. In addition to their meat, lionhead geese are also valued for their feathers, which can be used in textiles and decorative items. Some farms prioritize breeding for feather quality alongside meat quality. The lion-head goose is a breed native to China and is known for its distinctive physical characteristics. Physically, the lion-head goose has a large, bulky body with a short, stout neck. They have a regal and imposing appearance, akin to a lion. The most notable feature of the lion-head goose is its prominent, mane, or crest of feathers on its head. The feather tuft resembles the mane of a lion, which gives this breed its name. The crest is usually composed of broad, elongated feathers that create an impressive and eye-catching look. In terms of coloration, the lion head goose can vary. Some individuals have a combination of white and gray feathers, while others may be predominantly gray or white. The head and neck often display darker shades of gray or black, adding to the distinction of the lion-like appearance. Their eyes are generally large and bright, and they have a strong, broad bill. The bill is usually orange or yellow in color. Additionally, lion-head geese have sturdy, muscular legs and webbed feet that are designed for swimming and walking on various terrains. The overall size of a lion-head goose is relatively large, with males typically being larger than females. Males can weigh anywhere from 7 to 9 kilograms, 15 to 20 pounds, while females usually weigh slightly less. The lion head goose is primarily raised for its meat production and is also known for being a good egg layer. In addition to their physical attributes, they are known to have a calm and friendly temperament, making them an enjoyable breed to raise and observe. The life cycle of a lion-head goose, also known as the African goose or Chinese goose, typically goes through several stages. Here is a detailed description of each stage. 1. Egg stage and hatchling stage. The lion-head goose hatching stage on a farm in China is typically an anticipation-filled and meticulously managed process. It begins with carefully selecting healthy adult lion head geese for breeding, usually male and female pairs with desired genetic traits. The farm usually has a designated goose house or incubation facility where the eggs are collected daily. These eggs are then examined for quality, shape, and size to ensure only the best ones are used for hatching. 
The selected eggs are cleaned and disinfected to minimize any chances of diseases or infections. The next step involves putting the eggs into specialized incubators that regulate temperature, humidity, and turning mechanisms. The ideal temperature for hatching generally ranges between 37.2 to 37.8 degrees Celsius 99 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The eggs are turned several times a day to prevent the developing embryos from sticking to the inner membrane and ensure uniform development. During the incubation process, which typically lasts for around 28 to 30 days, farmers closely monitor the conditions inside the incubators. They check the temperature and humidity levels, adjusting them if necessary to maintain optimal conditions for the embryos. As the hatching period approaches, farmers often perform a process known as candling. It involves shining a bright light through the eggs to check for signs of fertility, such as the presence of veins or movements inside. Infertile or underdeveloped eggs are removed from the incubator, leaving only the viable ones. When the hatching day arrives, the eggs are carefully transferred to a separate section of the incubator called a hatchery or a hatcher. Yeah. This section has slightly different conditions, including increased humidity to facilitate the hatching process. At this stage, the eggs are not turned anymore, allowing the embryos to settle into their proper positions for hatching. Within a few days, the eggs start to crack, and tiny beaks pierce through the shells. The farmers closely monitor the hatching process, helping struggling goslings if necessary. Once a gosling successfully hatches, it is relocated to a warm and safe brooding area with suitable bedding, food, and water. Over the next few weeks, the lion head goslings are nurtured with proper care and nutrition to ensure healthy growth. They are protected from extreme weather conditions and predatory threats. Farm workers provide them with a balanced diet, consisting of high-quality feed supplemented with fresh greens and clean water. Throughout this process, the farm strives to provide the lion-head goslings with the best possible conditions for their development, ensuring they grow into healthy, vibrant, and adorable adult lion-head geese. Two, gosling stage. As the goslings grow, they start developing feathers, which gradually replace their down feathers. During this stage, goslings grow rapidly, and their wing feathers start to appear. They need a balanced diet rich in nutrients, such as starter feed and fresh water, to support their growth and overall health. Goslings also start exploring their surroundings and socialize with other geese.
3. Juvenile Stage At around 3 to 4 months old, the goslings enter the juvenile stage. Their growth rate slows down compared to the hatchling stage. The juvenile geese continue to develop their flight feathers and become more independent. They spend more time foraging for food and water, although they still need care and protection from potential threats. Four. Adult stage. By reaching about six to eight months of age, lionhead geese are considered adults. They have fully developed feathers and exhibit distinctive physical features, such as a prominent knob on their beaks and an upright posture. Adult geese are sexually mature and capable of reproduction. They engage in courtship behaviors and mate during breeding seasons.
5. Breeding Stage Adult geese engage in pair formation and breeding. The female goose lays eggs in designated nesting areas. The breeding stage occurs annually during specific seasons, with incubation and hatching following the same pattern mentioned earlier. It's essential to remember that the duration of each stage may vary slightly between individual geese, as factors such as genetics, diet, and environmental conditions can influence the growth and development process. Additionally, geese can have a lifespan of up to 10 to 25 years, depending on the care and living conditions provided to them. Roasted and braised lion head goose is a highly revered and prized traditional dish of Guangdong, China. It is a dish that is deeply steeped in history and tradition, 
and is often reserved for special occasions and celebrations such as weddings, banquets, and festivals. The dish consists of a whole goose that is first roasted until golden brown and crispy, before being braised in a rich and flavorful broth that is made with a combination of soy sauce, ginger, scallions, star anise, and other aromatic spices. The name, lion head, refers to the size of the goose head, which is a prized delicacy in the dish. In Guangdong, there are several different ways in which the goose is roasted. Some restaurants prefer to use a special oven that is specifically designed to roast and cook large birds such as geese. The oven is typically fueled with charcoal or wood, and the goose is hung up on a hook inside the oven and roasted for several hours until it is golden brown and crispy on the outside. Other restaurants prefer to use a large rotisserie to roast the goose. The goose is hung on a spit which rotates slowly over a flame, ensuring that the bird is evenly cooked on all sides. The combination of the heat and the slow rotation results in meat that is perfectly cooked, succulent and juicy, with a crispy and flavorful skin. Once the goose is cooked, it is removed from the oven or rotisserie and allowed to rest for a few minutes before being cut into large pieces. The pieces are then placed into a pot or wok, along with the rich and aromatic broth. The broth is allowed to simmer gently for several hours, allowing the meat to absorb all of the flavors of the spices and herbs. The process of braising the goose is a crucial step in the preparation of the dish. The slow cooking process ensures that the meat is tender and flavorful, and the broth becomes thick, rich, and savory. The dish typically takes several hours to prepare, with the best results being achieved by those who take their time and allow the goose to simmer slowly until it reaches its full potential. In Guangdong, the dish is typically served with steamed buns or rice, and garnished with fresh cilantro and sliced scallions. The steamed buns are the perfect accompaniment to the rich and flavorful broth, as they soak up all of the delicious flavors and aromas. The rice also serves as a great base for the dish, as it helps to counterbalance the richness of the goose and broth. Overall, roasted and braised lion head goose is a dish that represents the rich cultural and culinary traditions of Guangdong, China. It is a dish that is steeped in centuries of history, and is revered for its rich and flavorful taste. Whether served at a banquet or enjoyed as a family meal, the dish is sure to impress and satisfy even the most discerning of palates.
啦，快啦快啦快啦！Thank you for watching. We appreciate your time and attention. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like, comment and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. We look forward to seeing you again soon.